Good morning, everyone. We're starting the day a little bit late. It is, let's see, it is 10.30 now. I um, woke up at eight o'clock feeling pretty tired, but I did get up, took a shower, took Donald to school, came back and had my breakfast. So I did already wipe out my breakfast and we've been doing a little bit of work uh, this morning. I wanted to talk about these shoes that I just got because I've been wearing the Janowskis this morning. And I kind of, I don't know, I like this design, but for some reason, these Janowskis feel a lot, I don't know, tighter around my foot than my other white ones do. And so I went on on Nike's website to see if I could find anything, like whether or not they run small or who knows. But I did actually stumble upon the, another pair of Janowskis that I really like um, in their leather, which is a plus. And it's kind of like the same color it's still that bone color, but it doesn't have the uh, like that brown type of side taping. So it doesn't have that kind of tan slash brown side taping. It's just the same uh, shoe color with the white side taping. And I think I actually like it a lot better. So what, what we're probably gonna do this morning is run to the bank and um, cash my, or put all my cash into my account. I have a couple other checks that I need to put in there. Plus, I think I'm gonna take these shoes back to uh, Zoomies, get my money back, and probably order these guys. And probably try to get, get them here before Phoenix, because I really do like these ones a lot better. And I think it, for the reason that I got them, I think those shoes will probably go better with multiple outfits. So we're gonna get those. Here, let me show you. So just trying to describe it. So here we have that's the shoe itself. You can see that it's leather uh, up in here and it's still that bone color, but then the side taping is white. And I let, I think that'll go with a lot more. So that's good for me. And then let's see here. This is probably the other good view. But they just look super, super clean. So we're probably gonna order those guys. But the thing is, is like I don't. Th these are 11s. The ones that I got are 11s. The, the white Janowskis were 11 and a half. Um, so I don't know what size to order really. That's my problem. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get on with the day. Welcome in. Thanks for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed already, there's a lot to come because on. Uh, on the 29th, our content's going to be revolutionized because we're starting to promote the channel. So um, if you guys are one of the few that, that has been watching since the beginning, thank you so much. Without further ado, let's get into the video. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's vlog, we uh, we talked a little bit about gym locations because Donald and I are looking into opening up a gym, whether it be here in Albuquerque or whatever, ultimately we, we just want to open our own gym. And, uh, I, I sent out a poll on my Instagram. Once again, if you guys aren't following me there, be sure to, here's the, the tag, at by the ram underscore. Be sure to follow me there. But yeah, I sent out a poll on my Instagram asking what was more important for your gym preference, whether it be location or facility slash equipment. And the results were pretty unanimous. We had a few people vote location, but the majority of us voted for facilities and equipment. And I think that's, Honestly, a little bit different than what I was expecting because I'm personally somebody that's about location. But uh, so tonight we're going to send out a different poll. If you guys have your comments, your critiques on, on what you want out of your gym, please uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. I'd really appreciate that. But we're going to go hit this arm workout and uh, let's go over that book.
not that important. <laughs> Doing uh, supersets with wide grips, and tricep pushdowns, and a slant uh, bicep curl. We're doing three sets of 10 with two press reps, meaning the 11th and 12th rep is going to be a cheat rep, essentially. So you can use momentum or whatever method you, you want to use to make sure you get that weight up or down. So we're going to start with the tricep. So now we are headed to the bank first. Why does that look so weird? It looks like it's a black eye for some reason. It's just weird lighting. But uh, so now we're headed to the bank. Obviously, I'm not going to be filming that. And uh, as soon as we're done there, we are headed straight over to Uptown where we will take back the Janowskis. And then actually, we're headed to Apple Store to finally fix my AirPods because we're going to Phoenix and I think it's going to be crucial that I have. Um, AirPods, whether I need to take phone calls while I'm at, on the golf course and it needs to be kind of low key, the AirPods will come in clutch there. So. Okay, so we just now returned the Beats to Apple. I just feel like there's a lot of situations where my AirPods are more useful. I don't feel like the price is justified um, with those Beats. After using them for about two weeks or so, I felt like there was a lot of situations where they started hurting my ears or I had to have one ear off and right now at the moment I just don't fly enough I don't travel enough and there so for me $380 was not worth that pair of beats so what I'm doing is just getting the airpods replaced and um, yeah so now we're headed to zoom in. so we finished up at all of our places the airpods aren't exactly what I was hoping why but it felt like he was just going to replace the right earbud and he told me he didn't have them in stock as in plural, he didn't have them in stock. But when I, uh, let's see where do I need to go. But basically when I signed off, he was like, okay, so we're gonna order them. We're gonna order them for you. So I was thinking, okay, well maybe it's, you know, it's just uh, a little miscommunication. But when I signed off on it, it said just the right earbud, which means I'm kind of going to get screwed in the pooch. Like, why would I pay $70 just for a right earbud when the other one's old and it needs to be replaced anyways? I guess what I'm trying to get at is that the AirPods are $140 themselves. Why wouldn't I just pay that extra $70, get the charging case, get the, the charging cable, all of that good stuff just for tw twice the money? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. So if, if I wind up having to, let's see, how do I say this? If I wind up having to pay $70 just for the right earbud, then what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna be like, no, keep that shit, I'm just gonna get new AirPods, cause, no, I mean, and it seems like the left ear pod isn't even connecting. That's really why I haven't been using them. It's because the left earpiece doesn't stay connected to the, the stuff that I'm trying to connect it to. But anyways, we just finished up at Wells Fargo. Now I am freaking ravenous. I really wanted to get fast food, but I'm gonna push through and wait until I get home to make some food. And after that, uh, I don't know. Oh, I did get this though. I've been wanting to get this, and this is DLPA. This supplement is a, uh, it's an amino acid. And apparently makes you feel pretty good. So we're gonna try this stuff out. I'll see you when I get home. All right guys, so we're back. I'm making some food right now. As Soon as that's finished, um, I'm gonna bring it over here, show you what that's like. I'm going to explain a little bit about DLPA, what it is, what its advantages are, why I'm taking it, so on and so forth. So let me go and finish up this food and we'll see you in a bit. 
Okay guys, so what we have here is two sandwiches, one's ham, one's turkey, both have two pieces of bacon, and it's uh, you sandwich in with some Dave's bread, which is just quality. Over here we have some organic tortilla chips. We're dipping in mango salsa that'll help me get my carbs up and uh, keep it interesting. And then just a really, a glass of water. But really, what we've all been waiting for is this beautiful, beautiful amino acid known as DLPA. Now, um, <clears throat> before I tr like dive into this, the way that I know this stuff is my freshman year of college, I reached out to an author na known as Stephen Kotler. I had just read one of his books called Bold, and um, it was co-authored by him and uh, one other guy that was pretty well-renowned. I don't remember his name, but um, I did research on the two authors, and actually Stephen Kotler was... He, he was located just out at, outside of Santa Fe, and he runs a, he runs a charity there in Santa Fe. So although he's traveling traveling a lot, um, he was a really good person to reach out to. So I was seeking out mentors, and I decided to branch out to him. Now, what's his specialization? His specialization was flow states, meaning um, he wanted to he wanted to get to the bottom of how people go into a flow state. And if you don't know what a flow state are, is it's it's focus. Um, it's I don't know if you guys are golfers, but uh, or you know whatever whatever athlete type of athlete you may be. For example, golf. Um, when you get into a flow state, golf becomes a lot easier. Or if you're a dirt biker, flow states help you perform at peak performance. They allow humans to become superhumans in a moment. It's the time where 60 seconds feels like an hour. In this little time of flow, we perform our best. And Stephen Kotler wanted to get down to the bottom of that. Well, my freshman year, he had just finished up um, a book called Right, the rise of Superman. Uh, I better remember that. I'm gonna look terrible. But anyways, he. Uh, but at that time, he was starting a new book called Stealing Fire. Stealing Fire uh, was all about. It was about flow states and and how we can achieve those in various ways, whether it be through athletes, drugs, whatever it may be. And one of those drugs was MDMA. MDMA, if you guys don't know what that is, is ecstasy. Ecstasy is actually known in its purest form, its clean form. Ecstasy is known to cure, not treat, cure depression, even in, in, in its severe form known as PTSD. Now, PTSD is a common problem with um, veterans, yet ecstasy is illegal, obviously. We all know that. But when we treat veterans with PTSD or PTSD patients in general, 100% success rate shows that ecstasy cured their PTSD. Now, in, in controlled forms, this isn't some sort of like street molly or, or something like that. It's, it's a different form that can be controlled and get these people on, on the right track. Well, my project in Stealing Fire was to do some research, not only in, in um, psychedelics, neurotropics, um, things like that, or neuro, like, uh, studying mainly about neurotransmitters, but I also did the economic side of things, trying to find the, the breakdowns of numbers. So fast forward to why are we talking DLPA? That's how I know. I've always been somebody to do my research. Uh, I kind of obsess about things like this. And so when I, when I heard about it, I had to do my research and I kind of came to the conclusion that it's a good fit for me. So um, where do I start? Well, it's, it's, an, it's a non-essential amino acid, similar to theanine, uh, except theanine is used as a, a relaxant that doesn't make you drowsy. In other words, it, you can still have energy, but it relaxes you at the same time. So that's theanine. DLPA, however, is it's a different animal. It's probably the best amino acid you can take, and here's why. So the first thing that I can think of is it's a mood slash uh, quality of life enhancer. When you're taking DLPA, you're just going to feel an all around improvement of life. Things are going to be uh, better. Things are going to, in a sense, it's like MDMA in the fact that like you start to feel better. Um, 
<clears throat> the other thing is that it's an anxiety slash depression depression inhibitor, which means it decreases anxiety, decreases depression, and this is something very appealing to me because if you guys obviously you guys don't know too much about it, but about a about two months before I started vlogging, no, about a month, I just went through a breakup um, of four years with a person that I love very, very much. And that was probably the hardest thing that I've really ever been through um, as far as pain. I've been through a lot of physical pain, but the, the, uh, the emotional pain that I was going through during this breakup was just, it was terrible. Um, and you know, it's, it's shameful for me to say this, but suicide had gone through my head several times because I just didn't know how to handle it. There wasn't a time for a solid 30, 40 days where I didn't feel that pain. And so it was nonstop, even though it was emotional, it still was there. And if you guys haven't experienced that before, I, I wouldn't wish that on my, my greatest enemy. So this is something, you know, I'm still getting over that. I'm obviously a lot better now, but, uh, yeah, just that depression, I would never want to feel it again. Um, I look back on it and I can say that the four years that I had with this person, it was well worth it um, because there's nothing nothing better in love. That's that's the, uh, the feeling that everybody should get to experience and it was very beautiful. Um, but getting into the next thing, it was uh, fatigue. F this is actually, this DLPA uh, prevents fatigue. So it's great for, the reason I'm getting it, pre-workouts. You guys, um, that's that's huge because I know that when you're going into a cut or even like me, I feel like I'm always fatigued. I'm always having to fight on and grind it out when I don't really want to. And that's something that I really shouldn't have to do. And then the next thing is it prevents a loss of appetite. So I get to eat more. That's very exciting too. So that's huge. Um, but this is, it's called DLPA because the PA stands for phenylalanine. Um, yeah, I was a chemical engineer before I dropped out, so I do understand that. So there's two types. The first one is L-phenylalanine, and the second is D-phenylalanine, um, hence the name DLPA. And so what do they do? When you uh, kind of hybrid them into a 50-50 ratio, which is what this is, so you see here it says 50-50 ratio. The L-phenylalanine, <clears throat> It increases the um, the synthesization of proteins, hormones, uh, things like neurotransmitters. That's the big one right there. Not only does it help make proteins so we can build muscle mass, it helps build hormones like testosterone, also helps with muscle mass, but it also creates neurotransmitters. And if you guys don't know what neurotransmitters are, it's the reason why we all take drugs. It's the reason we get addicted to drugs. Um, and, and this is, this is, this isn't regulated for a reason. We're not going to get addicted to this. We don't need it to live. Um, however, it is, it is, does help your lifestyle. So neurotransmitters are like dopamine, GABA, these things that, that, um, are released when we drink alcohol. It's what makes us feel good. So when we strategically take LDPA, we're going to enjoy the next two hours. So. That's why we're going to take a pre-workout. And the next thing is um, D-phenylalanine. And what was that about? Um, oh, so D-phenylalanine, D-endorphin. Yeah, so D-phenylalanine uh, inhibits the breakdown of endorphins. And if you guys don't know what endorphins are, it's what's, it's what's released uh, when we show like love for something. So. The reason two people might be attracted to each other is we release endorphins when we're around something that we're enjoying. And so it's endorphins are something that we release when we're liking something. That's the best way I can describe it right now. And so if we inhibit the breakdown of endorphins, therefore we're going to be in an enhanced state. In other words, we're going to feel a little bit better for a little bit longer. You know, it just, it inhibits it, it doesn't prevent it, and it inhibits it. And so these are all really good things. So overall, this amino acid is awesome. And then uh, just a little fun fact about LDPA. Um, a numerous studies have shown that it can help treat different conditions. Bipolar disorder, Parkinson's, um, PMS, which... <laughs> 
let's be honest, ladies, um, if you're PMSing, take some DLPA for me, please. I wish I could have gone back in time and given that to my sister. Seriously, that would have helped me so much. PhD. Bro, I swear, I just now looked at the clock and it said 9.30, but my phone is saying 10 o'clock. I don't know what just happened, that's super weird. But even though it's still 10 o'clock, that means I still have like freaking three hours to stay up. And I'm hungry, so we're gonna make, you know what's, you know what? I'm gonna quiz you, I'm gonna quiz you, I'm gonna wait here. What is my go-to? I'll wait. Go to my Instagram page and find out, at RileyRam underscore, right here. <sighs> yeah, 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 that's right, banana oat pancakes, that's correct, that's correct. All right, so if you didn't know that, that means you're not following me on Instagram, so go one more. It's a little plug, okay? <sighs> banana oat pancakes. Why do I, why is that my go-to? Number one, it's got a lot of carbs. Number two, it's got protein. Number three, it's freaking delicious. Oh, that's Gucci. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Gucci. <coughs> All right, everybody. I have a pretty bad neck pain right now, and I don't know what it's from. I'm hoping it's just a headache, so I'm gonna take like an, like an Advil and hope maybe I'll wake up feeling better. Nonetheless, um, I finished up vlog number 23, uploaded that. Nothing, nothing really too exciting in that vlog, it was just a kind of normal day, and I think, I think personally, being, very self-critical. I think that a lot of my vlogs are very, very bland and it's essentially the same thing. That's just because I'm not doing, I'm not showing much of my life um, outside of like what I'm comfortable showing. And I think that that'll probably progress as we uh, start making more moves and we we'll start uh, as we really, <laughs> as I'm able to get comfortable um, making stuff public. In other words, as soon as things are more concrete and I'm not really having to worry about IP or anything, <laughs> I can make that a little more public. And maybe maybe I'll start thinking a little bit about uh, how I can uh, tell you guys a little bit about what, I, what I'm doing. But anyways, I'm going to go and sign off on the vlog. It's 12, 15. I don't have to wake up early in the morning, but you know, it's every day, bro. So we're gonna do that. Guys. I'll be in the vlog by saying this, if you keep doing what you've always done, you will keep getting what you've always gotten. Hope you guys had a beautiful day, and I will see you in the next one.